Shoulder elevation is one of the most important aspects, most important ingredients for your handstand. And it's something in this course that we focus completely on, okay? We go right into all the various uh, grass root progressions to help you understand how to push tall, how to elevate your shoulders, and make sure ultimately you can feel your shoulders covering your ears, because if you can't, it means you're here, and it means you're there, it means that you're falling forward with your shoulders and you're not stacked, you're not gonna be efficient, you're gonna be loading up some other part of your body instead of taking it all distributed nicely for your body where you don't have to worry about anything. So, why do we need to get stacked? As I said, uh, you know, if you're not stacked, you're gonna be inefficient, you're gonna be taking weight through other parts of your joints. So we've gotta really concentrate on that elevation, okay? The other thing is, if you've ever tried to do your handstands where we do start to take our, our hands off, where we're just even going to this progression, or we're walking up and down, and you feel like, you know what, I just can't take that hand off, it's just, I don't know how to do it, I don't feel safe, it, it, my brain's telling me, no, you can't do it. And that's, that's for a reason, it's because you're not pushing tall. Now, if you watch me, if I'm in a handstand, if I have to put everything on this weight, in this, on all my weight on this hand, but I don't push tall, what will happen is that my body stays here. It hasn't transferred across. Now, if I push tall, look what happens to my body. I push tall and it slides underneath that arm. So all of a sudden now, all my body has come underneath this arm. So I'm sort of stacked, okay? All right, and if I do it to the other side, if I push tall, my body has shifted across. Now, if I try and take this hand off and my shoulders are depressed, so I take that hand off, my body is here. It's not under my arm. My arm's over here, but my body's here. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to want to take this hand off. But I want to take it off if, my, if I know, my brain knows there is support. So I push super tall. Okay, you're going to be balanced. You're not going to fall over and hurt yourself. So the brain allows me to take that hand off. So let's see what it looks like upside down. So if I kick the handstand, okay, if I, if I go into a depressed position, so I'm not pushing tall, you can see my ears, all right, if I try and take my hand off, okay, that's me not exaggerating. That's just me taking a hand off. I've got no support. Now, as I slow, if, if I push really tall and transfer my weight, and you'll see my feet come across, so I'm up onto my fingertips, I'm pushing tall, okay? And look, you can't see my ear, and now I'm right up there, right? So that's really exaggerating the shoulder extension. So what I did was as I push super tall, all the weight comes underneath that one arm. Now my brain goes, yeah, you're not gonna fall over. You're not gonna hurt yourself. You can take that hand off, okay? And that's what you need to be doing in your handstands. Every time you do a, a handstand, tuck, handstand, pike, okay? Anytime you take your hand off, you need to be pushing as tall as you can. And I know everyone tries to, all my clients, all my uh, class members come in, and it's just a story that happens over weeks and months and uh, the more you do it, dumbbells and all the other progressions, it will slowly get better and better and better. 